Hello, I'm Joana Vasconcelos, and this is my studio, and I'm welcoming you to visit it. Just come along. So this is the gallery space, and it's also used as workshop. And here we have another project that we are working on for Wadsden Manor in Oxfordshire, and this is a mock-up, which, which means that it's a real size maquette, and it's all done in ceramics with uh, uh, the Portuguese company Viva Lamego, where we've done all, all these uh, ceramic pieces and put together. And as you can see, we are working here in installing all the pieces and preparing all the pieces so we can put them on the wall. They're gonna go here and they're gonna go here. Or there. I don't know, well, something like that. The shoe uh, is one of my well-known pieces, and it's here to be clean and to be restored so it can go to the collection. So it's a handmade piece, as you can see, all of them are completely handmade, and this piece came to be cleaned and then to, to be exhibited in a, in a big collection here in Portugal. So. All of this is done here at the studio. All of these pieces are not done elsewhere, but they are done here on the other workshop that I will show you around. And the car, the title of this piece is War Games, and it's a piece that we are restoring and preparing to go back into uh, exhibitions all over the world, mainly in Brazil. So we are you know, transforming the whole thing because it was, um, a piece that already needed to be restored. It's full of LED lights and guns, looking at the back. And we are at the present moment drilling holes so we can put all the LED lights into it. We also have here another piece, which is the, the ice cream. It's done with sand molds from the beach side and this is the um, prototype. It's the piece that we've made to exhibit here at the studio and to test the technique. And we have one in Nice, and we will have another one in a German collection. So this is the existing one, but all the other ones are uh, much bigger. And we have one in Yorkshire in the show. And this is our wall of shame, which is all the pictures that we take on the events and people that visit us and people that we know all over the world that in a way are represented here in this wall and it's a place where we cannot put uh, more than you know all the pictures we take but these pictures cannot go to a catalog because in a way they're not suitable for the art world but anyway you can see a lot of pictures of people that came to the studio, you can see the studio team, events, parties, and you know all the adventures that we undertake. So this is the workshop, is the place where actually all the pieces are done. This is the first area, is the metal area, which we have all the machinery and all the materials here. In the middle, we, we normally produce all the pieces and here, in the end, we have the wood area with the machine and with all uh, the materials to work on wood. So sculpture normally is made basically through a structure of wood or a structure of metal. So the studio is divided in those two uh, main areas. And of course, here uh, in the middle, we. Uh, use it to install or to work on pieces. Here we have the engineering area and technology. So we have a lot of engineers and people uh, more connected to um, programming and to machinery. And we do a lot of test drives for mechanisms. For instance, this is a maquette or a technical maquette from the J'adore Miss Dior, which is a bow that I did for the Louis Vuitton collection. 
and I disassembled the perfume and he, we were testing the mechanism to put an LED light in the middle. Piece here, which is the maquette of the wedding ring, the bride's ring that you have in Yorkshire. So first we tested the technique that we were going to use, which involves wood and metal, and then we made the, the large piece. And again, we have objects that are staying in our collection, and this is the, the traditional example of the wine vessel, the one that is also in Yorkshire, which I made this skin that normally would protect the glass pieces to uh, put wine in it. And this is the financial department, but the group, this group is still at home after the pandemic, so that's why there's nobody here. So this is the, um, the production area. Is the department that does all the shipping, the crating, and does all the shopping. And we also work in finding out new materials and trying to uh, purchase everything that it's needed to a project. So when uh, a project is developed, the first thing that happens is I make a drawing, I go to the architectural department, then I come here, and here they will research for all the materials, and then they will work with the financial department, and from there we have a budget, and when all that is solved, we will go into the client. The client accepts, and it will come here again, so to the financial department to, to deal with all the contracts and with the money. So from the production area, we find out all the materials, and when all of that is done, we can start working on the actual production of the pieces. So this is the um, meeting room, and here we have all the projects that we were working on before the pandemics. We have the Mumbeth, the Valkyrie we made for Boston, and here you can see all the details of the project, and it's a more technical area. So all the drawings and all the maquettes are related to production. So here you can see how the piece is installed, all the, the elements of the pieces, how many. In the case of the wedding cake, the piece you saw downstairs, we have the structure, we have the four levels, and you can see the materials. And here you can see the planification of the drawings and actually the materials that we are using. And we have also the project that we made recently for Edinburgh, the swimming, the swimming pool, with all the projects of installation. And again, the, the solitaire, which is the piece that is also in the gardens, and you saw the maquette be, before. It's done, it's done with rim wheels, it, with whiskey glasses, and it was put in, in the Guggenheim. Finally, we have the project that we finished also recently for the city of Paris, Porte Clignancourt, which is the heart with all the tiles, and you can see here all the mechanisms that were made to put this big heart turning around. This is a maquette room. Here we keep all the maquettes to show people how it's produced and to show the clients. For instance, we have the solitaire again. The project of the solitaire, we have the maquette that we made. And then we also have the technique that we use to glue the whiskey glasses together. And so here we can exemplify the technique and how it's made the diamond. So we have all these uh, with crystal whiskey glasses that were glued here in the studio and then glued to this, and they would make all of them the, the diamond. We also have the maquette of the Guggenheim Valkyrie. We also have the testers for the heart, the technique that we use for the tiles with the cabochons, and we have also the maquettes we made for the swimming pool. And again, you see the maquette of the swimming pool over there. And so the swimming pool was a huge project with 11,000 tiles hand painted. And of course we had to test the technique because of the cold in Edinburgh. So we had to make a lot of tests in tiles and kind of a painting so we could you know, finalize this project. Also here we have all the materials that, and the studies that we've been doing 
for the wedding cake. So we keep all the elements that we are going to use. Some of them don't have the color yet, so the, I just took them from the company. And then we start working on color and start working on the scale. And as you can see, the mermaid that is already painted downstairs here, it's still in the original color. So we also keep here the iron pieces that were used on the wine vessel and on the teapot. And now again, we're gonna use it on the balconies of the wedding cake because they are gonna be protecting the ceramic elements. And uh, here we have the communication department. All that it's connected to communication. We do Facebook, Instagram, we do catalogs, big monographies. We organize all that is connected to magazines and clipping. And we also have a database. We take care of pictures. We write text. So this is the way that we communicate into the world and also the way that we uh, receive information throughout the world related to our work. So here we have an overview of the studio, of the gallery, where we can see the pieces from a different angle. And that's really important uh, on sculpture and mainly on public sculpture that can be seen from different heights. This piece is Big Booby and um, it's a piece that is made completely by hand. It needs to be done by the same person. Um, more or less in a period of three to four months. So it starts really simple, like the scale of a palm. It's from the Portuguese tradition to take all the bits of wool and tie them together and then use them to make these round circles to take hot stuff from the oven. And then this one grew up and grew up and became this huge booby that it's hanged on the wall with these hooks, like meat hooks. And uh, it's a piece that uh, has a very strong impact, although it's very soft and very light, but it looks like a, a, a meat hanging on the wall. And here we have um, Gotica. It's a piece that I've done for Venice. Uh, it's, it was a show organized by the Hermitage where they ask people all over the world to produce a piece related to their own Gothic in their own country. So I made a replica of our uh, chapel, the Battaglia, and where I reproduce exactly the, the windows of Battaglia. And here you can see the Portuguese tiles, the scale of the Portuguese tiles, and these pieces that come out of the tiles done in glass. And then we did all the textile work. And of course, this simplifies the church look and it, it, like the chapel of the studio is in this area because, of course, of the vitrail look and also the light and the Venetian tiles that you can see in glass. So first of all, I'm going to show you my office. So this is where we make all the drawings. I have the notebooks. I work mainly on paper to make my projects and to decide what I'm going to do next. I also take notes from my meetings. And then from here, I normally go to the um, architectural department to develop the project and to the studios to work with different materials and with different artisans and different techniques. It's the textile area. We produce all the textile pieces and we work in different kinds of materials. So we use all of this area as the table because many times we have to put all the fabrics on the floor and this area of the studio is divided by three different sections which are different technologies and different artisans. So in every of these sections we work with different people and different uh, materials and different technology. So this first department is a department where we work on knitting and all of the materials are wool and we have different colors of wool and it's like painting really it's different colors that then are combined in in bits and parts of 
crochet and then I will uh, compose them into the piece. So as you can see, we have all the different colors and we develop different parts and different shapes also, mixing different colors like the case here. And from here, all these examples are going to be used in another uh, an artwork. And here we have a department which is the last department normally on the, on the production area, which is the bidding department where we finalize and we give detail to the pieces. So we are working on uh, the Tree of Life, which is a project for France for the city of France, for La Sainte Chapelle de Vincennes, where we are embroidering the leaves of a laurel tree. And we are doing more than 20,000 leaves. They are going to compose a tree that has 13 meters high. And uh, it's a, a very, very large project. And we are working on leaves and leaves and leaves. As, as, and as you can see, they are done in fabric. And then they are in brother here with this very detailed and very small bits that we use. So we work in a very large scale pieces, but with a lot of detail. I collect bits from all over the world, Brazil, Paris, from Marrakech, Portugal, India. The idea is that I collect materials that come from a lot of cultures and from different materials and I use them to embellish and to give detail to uh, my, my work. So as the example of this element that is made in fabric with Thai silk and then it's in broader with all these little bits. And here uh, we have the textile area and the seamstress area and the sewing area. So it's pretty much, we work here uh, in fabrics, but it's also uh, a team that works connected with molds that are produced in the architectural department. And then it's cutted and it's sewed and everybody works together. Here, Denise is working on the leaves for the tree. As you can see, they are cutted and then they are sewed by hand. So this is the, um, the crochet studio where we do uh, work in a very refined way. And we, um, we compose between ceramics and crochet. All of the, all of the, the crochet is here. It's made in the islands, in the Azores. And the ceramics are from Burdalo Pinheiro, which is a Portuguese ceramist from the 19th century. So I buy the ceramics and then I cover them up with this very traditional crochet. That's what Clara is doing here. Composing all the rosettes together. And so this is a very refined and very detailed work that needs a lot of patience and many hours. So they create this second skin that embellishes the, the ceramics and protects them at the same time. So when you look at the wolf, you don't understand where it starts or it finished. It really looks like a second skin, like a kind of um, very refined uh, clothes, or it could be thought of also a kind of lingerie, uh, haute couture kind of dress. So these are uh, very beautiful pieces because in a way the ceramic is handmade, the crochet is completely handmade and also the work of connecting it as a second skin is something completely handmade. So all of these areas connected to fashion and to the seamstress, all the boxes, all the fabrics, all of the decorations and materials that we keep here are connected to a project and I, I choose the, the fabric as long as the theme of the project and uh, the, the elements that we are using. And here we also have the leaves for the tree. As you can see, all of them are embroidered one by one and they can be completely different from each other. So we keep them here 
and we will produce in this area of the studio all of the, the tree and the parts of the tree. So this is a very good example of how we connect all departments. We have the crochet and the, that is made in this area. We have all the fabrics that were sewed and produced by the sewing area. And here we have all the details of embroidery. That's what Ashiv is doing here, which is the last detail. Instead of crafts and on handmade, this is a very technological work. And again, all of this area is organized in a very different way. And you can see different materials and it's much more related to electronics and it's related to technology. So this is a, a, an area that again, like sewing, is very detailed, very refined, but also very complex. So many times this area works together with the crafts area and in the middle we um, make an encounter and a combination between crafts and technology. This is Corpo Infinito, it's the area of wellness of the studio where we take care of the people that work in the studio. And we have a healer and a therapist that work here with us. This is our big studio where we do Iyengar yoga. As you can see, it's practiced with ropes. And um, it's a very recuperative yoga for the well-being. And we have classes here in the morning and in the afternoon. And you can have an overview on the pieces. This is the last level of the studio. We are here at the fourth floor. And from here you can have an overview on the different groups, on the different crafts. And many times we have to work from this area. We actually have to bring the pieces up and we have to embroider from this level. So this is also a working area of the studio. In a way, from this area, many times we have to, you know, take pieces and to finish them from here. They are still here, some architects? Yeah, we have architects, yeah. We have all the technical drawings of the inside, of the structure. So it's a much more technical and creative area and not as practical as the other areas that we saw downstairs. Again, we have the landscape in the, the position of the piece on the landscape. We take the projects into the financial area, into the production area, and only when all the contracts and the money is in, we start working on the production. But the architects, they have to follow the project since the beginning until the end. It's also very important in the architectural department, uh, the work that we do on spaces, predicting the shows and organizing uh, every place that we go to. This is very important for us to understand how to combine the artworks and the space and the communication that the artworks are going to do in the locations. And we do our books to present to the clients the projects. So it's where we explain the whole project, the technical drawings, and where we make a connection between all the artworks, the historical wedding cakes, the references that we are working with, where we show off the client, where, where the ideas come from. All the research is done also in this department, all the drawings and all the techniques. And then this is presented to the client. This is the number one. And as you can see, you have all this wedding cake books. This is the evolution of this project through the years. We have uh, the maquette of the wedding cake where it gives you an idea of the scale and how people are going to behave in the space. They can get inside. They, co they go through the staircases here and they can look in this first balcony into the view. They can go up 
and again they can be here looking into another and then only two people can have access to the top so actually one goes through in this these stairs and the other one and they will meet on the top and they will become the two little figures on the top of the wedding cake. So actually you can get into the top and meet somebody that you don't know and perhaps you can be married by surprise. It's very interesting to finish here because we started with the mock-up of something which is the wedding cake and now we have the maquette of the same project. So thank you for having me in your museum and I hope that you'll come and visit me here at the studio one day and um, I hope you enjoy my next project, The Wedding Cake. Bye.